What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Pat. In today's video, I'm going to be going through how to optimize your Google My Business post so that you guys can get more traffic and searches on your Google My Business. Google posts are incredibly powerful for your Google My Business strategy, so it is important that you're posting at least on a weekly basis. I'm going to be taking you through how to optimize your Google My Business post images and the content, plus what else you can do once you actually written and publish your post to get more visibility on your Google My Business. So make sure you watch to the end of this video because I'm going to be taking you through a presentation on everything you need to do to properly optimize your Google My Business post. I guarantee you your competition is not doing it like this. No yelling, no fluff. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So before we get into the presentation that I have, let me go ahead and show you why I believe Google My Business Post is a very important part in your local SEO strategy, um, especially your GMB strategy. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. Um, let me go into Insights and let me scroll down. So you can see this was a month, right? The insights from here are a month and you can see that they were pretty much uh, upwards until this part right here. They didn't post for one week and you can see we had this big decrease in listings on search and maps, right? And then this previous, this last week, we started posting again on a regular basis and you can see instant spike in terms of our uh, impressions, right? So this is why it's so critical because we literally just stopped posting for one week and our uh, views on search and maps did drastically go down. So again, guys, it is important and I guarantee you that most of your competition is not posting on a regular basis. Probably one out of every 10 businesses I see actually post on their Google My Business. And out of those uh, one, you know, there's a very small percentage that actually optimize them correctly. And that's pretty much what I'm going to show you guys today. Right? All right, guys, GMB post SEO like a pro. Write the best damn Google post and wipe out your competition. Like I mentioned earlier, it's more than likely that your competition is not posting on a regular basis. And if they are, I can almost guarantee you that they're not properly optimized as far as what I'm going to be showing you in this actual video. So let's go ahead and start with the basics of a GMB post. So first of all, you want to make sure you have the correct image size. The reason being is if it, the image is not the correct size, then you might crop out certain parts that you might actually want to be showing. So it is important that you have the correct image size. I found that 540 by 405 works best. You can see the image completely as well as on mobile. So that's the size that I usually use. And obviously you do want to make sure you have pictures and you also want to make sure you create graphs, graphics, because on these graphics, you can add your logo, uh, your NAP, you can add keywords, et cetera, right? So I use Canva, it's free. I actually use the premium version, but you'll be more than fine uh, with just the free version of Canva, right? And it's pretty easy to use. Um, you know, any average person should be able to make very good looking graphics um, by using Canva. On the image, you wanna make sure that if you are doing this for your clients, that they are sending you pictures of their jobs, of their projects on a weekly or monthly basis so that you can keep those images and use those as posts. Um, if you're not able to get images, you know, the second best option is to just go ahead and use stock images that you can find um, for free, right? Or paid if you want. Um, content, they allow it to 1500 characters. The first seven to eight words will actually show above the fold. So you do wanna make sure that you have one, your keywords in your first sentence, and two, you also want to make it kind of a click worthy so that someone that's reading it might want to click to, to read more, right? Um, in terms of posting frequency, um, two to five is usually what I would do, what I would recommend. And some people believe that Google posts expire. That may have been the case years ago, but now they do not expire. They actually stay on your free Google My Business website that you can create, they'll actually stay on there forever. So 
don't worry about them expiring because they will never expire and some of you guys may have had this happen to you but your google my business posts may get rejected sometimes and this just means that google didn't like something that you put in that specific post some things that i've seen personally on why some posts have gotten rejected is for specific words in your actual content um, adding links sometimes depending on the niche um, really Google does whatever they want but I've had it to where whenever I add a link they actually reject my post when I take out the link they'll actually accept the post so keep that in mind adding your name address and phone number on the post I've gotten a post rejected because of that I took it out and it was perfectly fine um, adding hashtags was another thing um, that I've seen a post get rejected for so just make sure you check these things if this does happen to you edit and repost as needed um, it's usually one of these things at least from my experience on why posts may get rejected content for your Google my business posts you know what should you write um, here are some ideas that you can do service offerings you know information type posts limited deals discounts uh, local events, business updates. Um, a large, a large portion of the posts that I do for my clients are mainly uh, service and information type posts, just because I like to connect them with our service pages on our websites, um, and it just helps to build more relevancy. So I would advise you to at least do a couple that are keyword focused for the services or keywords that you want to rank for. Um, and make sure you write your content around that topic, right? How to optimize an image properly. First, of course, you wanna make sure the picture is relevant to the topic of your Google My Business post. Make sure you include your logo, your name, address, phone number, and website URL on your actual image, um, as well as your keyword on the image. And I'll show you an example of this, and you can do all of this using Canva. The reason being why you want to add these things on there is because we all know that Google can recognize um, things on an actual picture. They can recognize logos, they can recognize words, um, they can even recognize an image and tell you whatever is on that specific image, whether it's a bird, dog, you know, whatever it is, Google can actually read that. So it is important that you're adding all of these things to make sure that Google recognizes your brand and your business. Um, when you are doing these posts, right? And not to mention adding your keyword is only going to make it uh, that much stronger. How to optimize your content like a pro. So first you obviously wanna make sure that you have a keyword that's relevant to your business. Ideally, you wanna have a service page along with that topic or keyword that you're gonna make your post about. So for an example, if you're going to post about AC repair, you want to make sure you also have an AC repair page on your website that way you can actually link to that specific page on your website then of course you want to write three to five hundred words of relevant content you can write more but that is a sweet spot that i found um, the more it's hard to tell how much more results or improvements you would get if you were to use use them all um, but just keep it you know couple paragraphs you should be fine include a call to action so you know call us today get a free quote today just to make it enticing because people actually will probably read these posts believe it or not these posts might even get them to call yourself or your client right so you do want to make sure you add a call to action um, include your name address phone number on the bottom of every post again i mentioned earlier that it could get rejected because of this but if it doesn't and if Google accepts it continue adding that name address phone number right it's going to continue building that relevancy for your brand and for your business you can include links to your social media profiles you can include links to your Google my business whether it's the share share URL the place ID URL the machine ID URL um, any of those URLs you can link out to you can link out to citations like Yelp uh, Manta. I would really only do the more authority ones. Usually, you know, Yelp is going to be a, a good go-to citation. And then you can also link out to your website. You can also link out to your Google site or your Google My Business site if you have those. Um, but I would make sure to do two to three links if not, it's kind of overdoing it. Um, again, sometimes it could get rejected. So if that's the case, 
just take them out and make sure you add your link in the learn more button. Um, and then you can actually add hashtags. And this is something that I rarely see any, any businesses doing is you can include hashtags just like on a social media post um, within the actual content, right? So make sure your hashtags is the topic of that post or a keyword that you want to target. You can just add a few of those in there. And then lastly, use the learn more button for your strongest link. So you probably noticed that you can do like a call now, learn more, more information or something like that. So make sure that you have your strongest link or the link that you want to put the most power to in that learn more button. Um, usually I use it for my money site. So if it's the homepage, um, usually it's a service page, whatever keyword I'm targeting, um, you know, like HVAC repair, uh, HVAC maintenance, whatever the case may be, link out to those specific pages. And then you can also link out to your Google My Business uh, share URL. Uh, I found that those probably are going to be the best for your learn more button. So you can just rotate those out um, as you feel necessary, right? That's how you pretty much optimize your content like a pro. I guarantee your competition is not doing all of these steps, guys. Again, doing all this together is a little bit time consuming, but it's very well worth it, guys. When I tell you that nobody else is doing this stuff, and if you do this, it's gonna make that much of a difference on your Google My Business rankings. I can guarantee you as long as you're consistent. Get the most out of your posts and just share them things. You know, share them to Facebook, share them to Pinterest, Instagram, LinkedIn, and then always have them link back to your Google My Business uh, share link. And you can even share them on your blog. You can have like many blogs um, and have those Google My Business posts. You can add the images, you can add the content, you can even link to that specific post just to get it across uh, different platforms, right? So don't just post it and just let it sit there. Make sure you share it on, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all these different platforms um, to get the most out of your post, guys. So I want to quickly show you an example of a Google post that I do. So let's go ahead and go into their post section. And this is where you are actually going to see your posts, right? You can also see them all together by clicking website if you have it created. And it's going to take you to your Google My Business website. So this is a free website and this is where your Google post will get stored. You can see there. And then each one of these also has their own page. So if we click on this, it's going to bring us to its own page, right? So as you can see, we have our keyword on this image. We have a image from a project that our client did. We have the logo, we have the name, we have the address and the website URL. And then again, here we have our content around garage door installation. We have our call to action here. And then we also have some bit.ly links. You don't have to do bit.ly. I just, they just look a lot cleaner to me, but this one in particular is linking out to our Facebook page. And then we are also here linking out to our Google maps. And it's going to bring up the side panel here with our business uh, information to get this link. All you have to do is click share and copy link. You can also get this from the back end on your Google, my business dashboard. Um, but that's really what I like to do here. And I'll rotate the links out. For an example, you can do instead of Facebook, you can do, uh, you can link out to Yelp or you can link out to your uh, Google My Business uh, free website. You know, I usually leave the learn more button to link to our money site. So you can see here it links out to our garage door installation page, which is what this post is about. And then we have our hashtags here. We have our name, address, phone number, and this is pretty much how you want to optimize your post guys. Um, sometimes by adding this stuff down here, your post may get rejected. So if that's the case, just edit or take out some things, repost it and try, try it again until it gets accepted on some of my clients. I cannot add the name, address, phone number. Um, Google will reject it for that reason. And for another client, I can't add any links. It will also uh, reject the post, right? So it just depends on your niche and on your specific business. I'm not sure exactly how Google um, filters out what they reject and what they accept, 
but you're just gonna have to try it out for yourself. So this is pretty much uh, what I would do, guys. Um, and this is how you fully optimize your post. And another thing that you can also do here is, let me see if I can find one, where you can actually link out to previous posts. So for an example, this one right here, see our previous post about garage door off track repair, and then we're gonna link out to this previous post. And then this post, we're linking out to our previous post, which is the garage door opener repair. So you can kind of daisy chain your post that way. Um, and then just, just rotate your links out. Like I said, you don't have to link out to the same things every single time. You can link out to your Google Maps share button. You can link out to the CID button. You can do the place ID link. Um, you know, just make sure you're always linking out to your money site as well. Um, usually from the learn more button. So that's pretty much it guys. I wanted to give you guys an example because I do realize that it can be overwhelming um, and it is time consuming, but it's well worth it guys. So I hope you guys learned something new. If you did leave me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.